Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle against Ray Lonis, and he's got a pretty strong looking team as you can see. So it's definitely going to be another good one and we're going to get right into it. So, looking at the team preview, I really wasn't sure what he was going to want to lead with. He definitely has a few solid options to choose from. And he actually just decides to lead with the Tapu Coco. And I decided to lead with my Charizard, the Char King. So, his Electric Surge is going to activate right away to set the electric terrain on the battlefield. And I'm going to go ahead and go straight for my Mega Evolution into Mega Charizard X. And he is actually going to go straight for the Volt Switch here. Uh, not knowing I was a Mega X, of course, but uh, that actually took me down by about a third, even though I do resist it, which was quite a lot. So, of course, he gets the mandatory switch, and he's going to come in with the Ditto, and the Imposter is going to activate to copy my Charizard. So I actually just went for the Dragon Dance to get my attack and speed up, trying to set up to do uh, some big damage to his team. So this turn he is going to uh, switch out here, probably predicting the Dragon move on my side. He is going to come back in with the Tapu Coco, but I actually uh, carry Earthquake on this set, so I decided to go for that instead since it was the safer play. So that is definitely going to be enough to one-shot kill the Tapu Coco, and that is going to drop him down to five Pokemon. So then he is going to come back in with Ditto, and of course the Imposter is going to activate again to once again copy my uh, Charizard. So uh, he actually gets to copy all my stats too with that, and he is going to win the speed tie this turn, unfortunately. So he is going to go for the Outrage, and that is definitely going to be enough to finish me off and drop me down to five Pokemon. So uh, then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Beware, knowing he is locked into the Outrage. So he is forced to go for that. I am max physical defense with uh, the fluffy ability and also the rocky helmet so he's going to take some damage from that i'm going to live that with about half of my health and i'm going to go for the earthquake and that is going to be enough to finish off his ditto and drop him down to four pokemon good to see that thing out of the way they are pretty unique to see in battle so then he is going to come in with his greninja and uh, he's actually going to double switch me here, uh, probably predicting a switch on my side. So he's going to come in with his Kartana. And I do switch out here. I don't want to lose my Beware right now. So I'm going to come in with my Tentacruel. So that is also going to be it for the Electric Terrain. So this turn he is going to go for the Swords Dance to get a sharp attack increase, trying to set up for... A sweep possibly also possibly expecting me to switch but i kind of anticipated the swords dance so i stayed in and went for an ice beam uh trying to take him out but he does survive that in the red unfortunately so this turn i am gonna have to switch out once again i don't want to lose my tentacruel so i'm gonna come in with my beware yet again since i do carry the rocky helmet he is going to go for the Leaf Blade, which uh, the damage is going to finish me off. But uh, fortunately, as I had hoped, the Rocky Helmet damage is also going to be enough to finish him off. So that is going to leave me with four Pokemon and him with three. We both get a blind switch in, so he's going to come in with his Charizard. And I'm going to come back in with my Tentacruel. So uh, here he is going to go for the Mega Evolution, also actually into Mega Charizard X. And he's going to go for a Dragon Dance to get uh, his plus one attack and speed as well. Again, trying to set up. And I actually just went for the Scald here uh, to try and get damage. So that is going to take him down by about a third, which was pretty good. So this turn I am going to switch out once again. I don't want to lose my Tentacruel, so I'm going to come in with my Palosand to try and take whatever attack he throws at me. He's going to go for the Dragon Claw, which is going to take me down by about three quarters. Uh, I do survive that, and then I'm going to regain some health with the leftovers, but unfortunately there is no way I'm going to be able to take two attacks, so I just have to kind of stay in here and let him take me out with another Dragon Claw. So that is going to be 
uh, it for my Palisand, unfortunately, dropping me down to three Pokemon. So then I'm going to come in with my Azelf, and he does outspeed me, so he is going to hit me with another Dragon Claw, which is going to drop me down to my Focus Sash, but I do survive because of that. That was kind of my plan here. Um, so I'm going to hit him up with a Psychic, and fortunately it is enough to finish off the Charizard and drop him down to two Pokemon. So then he is going to come in with his Mamoswine, and he's just going to go for an Ice Shard here. I decided to stay in, uh, kind of expecting the Ice Shard, but I didn't really want to risk a switch, so I just kind of let him take me out there and uh, drop me down to two Pokemon. He's also going to take some damage from the Life Orb there. So then I'm going to come in with my Beartick Polar. Uh, so he is going to go for the Earthquake here. It's probably the best move he has for me, I'm guessing. So uh, that is going to take me down to about a quarter health, but I do survive. He is going to take some more damage from the Life Orb, and I'm going to go for the Super Power here, uh, which is going to be enough to take care of the Mamoswine. I do get my attack and defense cut, but more than worth it to uh, knock that thing out and drop him down to just one Pokemon. I am also going to take some damage from my Life Orb off of that. So finally, he is going to come in with his Greninja. And I just go for an Aqua Jet here uh, to get a little bit of damage on this thing before he takes me out. Um, I am also going to take some damage from the Life Orb there. And uh, he is just going to go for a Dark Pulse, which is going to be more than enough to finish off my uh, Bear Tick and drop me to just one Pokemon. And then, uh, unfortunately, his Battle Bond is going to activate as well. Uh, to transform him into Ash Greninja here. But uh, he is actually also going to take some Life Orb damage as well. But uh, it's no big deal because my last Pokemon is my Tentacruel Squidward, which is my special wall of the team. So uh, he is going to go for the Dark Pulse yet again on me. That is only going to take me down by about third. I am max special defense with an Assault Vest. He is going to take some more Life Orb damage. I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam, and that is going to be enough to take this Greninja out. And that is game. So thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.